all right guys hello we are here so today uh we have my buddies uh wide bodied bagged custom wheels the whole nine uh we are doing the it's raining it sucks but like i'm gonna have to I think i'm gonna take the wheels off the car but we are So like, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, we are going to refinish. Uh, I believe those are aluminum wheels. So we're doing like a full. Uh, I'm going to see the process I have to take. Uh, I don't think they don't look too bad. I don't think I'm going to have to sand, but uh, definitely polish out. Um, with either the orbital or by hand uh we'll see but first we're going to do a full decon we're going to be using the adams wheel cleaner that i normally use um and if i have to clay i have the clay right up here so if i have to clay we'll use that and obviously we'll use the wheel cleaner in that nothing fancy but um i think i'm going to jack the car up get the wheels off and get them in the garage. Um, I think I'm gonna clean them out there though. It's only drizzling, it's not too bad. Um, car's pretty dirty though, you can see. It's not gonna focus. <laughs> you can kinda see the back. I mean, it, it. you know, the car's been sitting. But yeah, so we're gonna start the decon process and we'll let you know what we decide to do if we leave it on the car or keep it there. I don't know if we're doing the inside barrel too, so I gotta communicate with him and see what's up, and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so over here we ended up hitting with uh, with Adam's polish. We hit it pretty liberally. I used a lot of product. Um, the green bottle that I'm using in my hand is the Meguiar's iron and clay remover. I used it because it, it, it does tend to suds up a lot more, so there's a little more lubricity where the Adam's I think it's a lot stronger, but I used it as like a foaming agent per se, the uh, Meguiar's. Um, so we ended up using that. Um, took a lot of time out of the spokes and everything. We had to really do it once or twice over. And then we ended up, I think now, so we ended up using, yeah, this clay sponge to kind of remove the barrel surface area. And then we kind of wrapped that up on this end. Okay, so you guys just saw that clip of the cleaning. So the only thing that's not coming out is like this, like the pitting, as you can see. So I'm hoping the, because the, the fronts are a lot worse than the back. Back's cleaned up really well. They're hazy, but that's fine. But um, I'm hoping the, um i'll probably see if um if a compound can take that out um i do have like a 2500 or 5000 grit and then i will polish it out and then hit it with actual um aluminum and a mag polisher um that i ended up picking up from the store but the white faces came out great those are that wasn't the issue it's more so the aluminum lip we're trying to polish um, unless it gets drier today, um, I'm gonna be doing this tomorrow. So there was a little, there's a little bit of a drizzle. Like right now, it's not raining, but it's on and off. But we were using water today anyway, so um, you know, I just kind of weathered the storm per se and just kind of came out here and did it. But nothing that like, uh, like I don't care if there's like if water re gets on the wheel and there's water spotting today because tomorrow's when the polishing is getting done i just needed the bulk of all of it off um but if it if i'm gonna keep an eye on the weather today if it gets like dry dry then i'll come out and do one or two of the wheels let you know what process i'm using and that's it so far they're coming out great but yeah if i don't pick this up today then we'll see you guys in the next one so over here we ended up doing that's just IPA and water. We did a wet sand 
on the entire lip. Um, the, the camera ended up dying, but we did um, we did this pattern with the 800, and then we ended up doing the crosshatch with the 1500, and then we ended up polishing out as well with the 205, which I didn't show because the camera ended up dying, but nothing crazy here. Um, we used the yellow pad, which I believe I showed in the video. Um, and we're pretty liberal with that, just making sure. Couldn't get too close to the faces here because I don't want to scuff the white face. But other than that, nothing fancy here. Just really being sure I'm leveling everything. All right, guys. Morning. It's the next morning. Uh, I realized I was hitting record last night. So after the sanding process, which we did um, 800 and 1500, um, we ended up taking out the three inch polisher with a yellow pad, which is actually right there. You see that that black pad? That's what we used with a three inch dual action. And we ended up polishing the entire lips <coughs> with a, uh, no, I'm sorry, we hit it with a compound with a 205 from Meguiar's. And then this morning we did the, uh, I'm sorry, and then last night we followed up with the um, the mag and aluminum polish on a just a small applicator. Um, I didn't realize the camera was dead last night when I uh, when I was because I hit record for the entire sandpaper process and I realized it was dead. And then it was only one more step I needed um, to hit the polish and everything. But the wheels came out great. Um, they're definitely not perfect. I don't think we were looking for perfect realistically but um just a quick uh tip on the mag and aluminum polish doesn't require much uh much pressure much much speed it's just you're working it in just back and forth kind of like a cross hatch pattern um kind of tiring on the arm but nothing nothing like too vigorous nothing like it works itself um just literally follow direction for direction on it but yeah other than that the car came out good so let's show you what we have Yeah. So front ones were the worst. That was the front driver's side. That's how they came out. So we'll wait for the client to come pick it up and we'll get his reaction on video. He still hasn't seen it yet, but we'll get his reaction and then we'll cap the video here. So yeah, if you guys like this style, leave a like, comment down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Seeing monsters at your window. 